Hello, friends. I apologize if my voice sounds weird. I got out of bed literally five minutes ago. I also apologize if the lighting is bad. Just using my window. Just using the good old sunlight. So, today I wanted to talk about my birth control experiences. Now, I got birth control because I was going, I'm in college now and my mom's like, you're going to college and you need birth control. I was like, okay, well, I don't feel like taking pills because I have to take medicine every day anyway and I always forget. And this is something you really shouldn't forget. Like, you really, really need to not forget it. But, and I did not want to get the shots because that's just, I have to go in every week, get a shot, take time out of my day. So, I wanted to, to blah, 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 blah. so, I wanted to um, do the IUD. So, I just went with the Mirena because that's the one I've heard about. That's the one that um, a lot of people are using. And by a lot of people, I mean like everyone on the West Coast. No one really talks about birth control on the East Coast, if they do have it. But, I chose the IUD. This was, I want to say, maybe five or six months ago yeah a long time I only had it for actually maybe even four or five months ago because I only had it for two months and I'll tell you why so I have not given birth I have not had sex yet you know this might be TMI for some people but you know whatever so they told me because of that it's gonna hurt like a lot so I was like, okay, I figured anyway, you're shoving something up my vagina, like, that's gonna hurt. So they showed me what was going up there, and I was like, okay, whatever. Then she's like, okay, ready? Relax. Relax. I know it's hard and you're nervous, but just relax, because it'll help a lot with the pain. So I was just laying there, and I was legit, like, sweating, and my mom was, like, holding my hand, and I was literally like, oh, my God. And so they stick the thing up, and let me tell you, like, okay, it looks... Like, I'm trying to find something in my room that I can, like, equate it to. I can't. It's, like, this long... It's, like, a, like a thin... Probably about the width of a pencil. Maybe a little bit thicker. And at the end, the IUD is, like, shoved in it. And then it's, like, long, 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 long. And then there's, like, this little trigger thing at the end. So they, like, shove it up their trigger. And then they pull it out. They did that. And, oh... My God, it was so painful, like literally, like guys, I'm so serious. It hurt so bad, like it hurt going in, it hurt when she took the, the stick thing out. I was literally like, I was sweating, I was like on the brink of tears, like I, I was dizzy. My, my mom said I went pale. My mom said when she saw my face, she literally almost, she like, my mom said when she saw my face, she almost started crying because she looked it looked like I, my reaction was just crazy. So I was pale. I was sweating. I was on the brink of crying. And then, like, it hurt just to, like, live. Like, living just hurt. Just, like, to be hurt. It was, like, cramping so bad. She said that the cramps that I experienced were, like, very, 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 very toned down versions of contractions. You guys know what contractions are? That's what you get when you're about to have a baby. Like, okay, if those are very, 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 very mild toned down contractions, I'm never getting pregnant. Like, honestly, that was so painful. And so I go to sit up and I'm like woozy and dizzy and just like all over the place. And then like, I, I have to throw up. Like, I have to throw up. So I'm throwing up, right? And I throw up everything that was in my stomach. Like, everything that was in my stomach it went from like you know like food like normal throw up to like this yellow stuff to just like me dry heaving and it hurt to like sit up it hurt to stand it hurt to walk it everything just freaking hurt so we got so i drove there my mom was um in the passenger seat but no i was like mom you have to drive you have to drive so i get home i lay down i take some ibuprofen i go to sleep and then i wake up because I only had to sleep for like two hours because I had to go to work that day. <sighs> oh. oh. But then, <laughs> it doesn't end there. 
So I have my IUD in, I'm living my life, the day has passed, I'm like, okay, I'm so glad I don't have to change, I don't have to experience that again for another five years because, <laughs> girl, are you kidding me? That is crazy. So I'm living my life, we have a checkup appointment, I think it was like a month later. Yeah, it was like a month later for the checkup appointment. And mind you, when I went in to get my ID, I was supposed to see one doctor, but I saw a different doctor. And then when I went for the checkup, I was supposed to see the first doctor I was supposed to see, but I saw a different doctor. So I'm in my checkup, and this is a new doctor. So right now, I've seen three doctors, because I had my um, consultation appointment, the insertion appointment, and then the checkup appointment. Three different doctors. So I'm in the checkup point, and she's like, in there. <laughs> And she looks at it and she's like, unfortunately, the IU I can actually see the bottom of the IUD, which means it's not in the proper place, which means it wouldn't be working as a birth control. And I was just like, great. And she's like, there's a very small chance that it would like wiggle itself back up there, but generally that doesn't happen. So do you want me to just take it out and reinsert or do you want to just wait? I was like, no, 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 I can't go through that again. I'm waiting. So then I waited a month. And I wasn't on my period because you're supposed to be on your period when you get it. I was on my period when I got it in. I was not on my period when I went for the checkup. And then we rescheduled for like maybe like, uh, I want to say like three weeks later to have another checkup. But then I wasn't on my period. So I was like, <laughs> no, no, if they're going to reinsert that, no, no. So we waited another, I think, two weeks. And then I went in. I saw the first doctor I was supposed to see. So... I was supposed to see this doctor for, I saw this doctor for the consultation, I saw a different doctor for the insertion, and then I saw a different doctor for the checkup, but then I went back and saw the first doctor for my second checkup for the consultation. She was supposed to be the one who did all of this, but she wasn't. So then I went back in, and then she was like, so what's going on? I was like, okay, well, I got it inserted, it was super painful, hated it. Um, I went for a checkup and she said that she could see the bottom of the IUD which means it's not working but it could move back up and she was like who told you that I told her she was like uh no that doesn't happen because the way your uterus is it's impossible for that to happen it has to be like shoved up in there basically she showed me a diagram of the uterus and basically like it just scientifically it would not have been able to move back up by itself so I was like why did she lie to me but so she was like, so we're going to take it out, and after I take it out, you can tell me if you want me to put a new one in, or if you just want to not have anything at all. So she takes it out. Well, she's actually, actually, what she did was, she opened it up, and she was like, okay, so she was explaining to me, like, what things were and why they were like that, and I was like, lady, just take it out, and don't put anything back in. So she had, she put the little duck thing in, uh, TMI, whatever, and I'm just like, laying down and she's like looking inside of me and then she was like okay so basically blah 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 blah, blah. and like she let like she was hold the thing up because it's kind of heavy she left it so it was just hanging down and that was uncomfortable for me <laughs> okay not comfortable and then she asked my mom like oh do you want to see it and she was like my mom's like do you care if I I'm like mom, I don't care just d get it out like I don't want it I don't want it anymore so basically she showed it she said like oh this is what her uh, cervix looks like blah 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 and then, so she took it out, and she's like, do you want me to reinsert I'm like, no. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, no, 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 I don't want, no. I was, like, sweating because I was like, what if she just puts it back in? I didn't want that because it was so painful. Like, I could not experience that again. So she takes it out, and then, you know, taking it out didn't feel a dang thing. Did not feel a gosh dang thing. It was painless. But putting that junk in, oh, my God, it hurts so bad. So she took it out, and then she was like, well, obviously, you care about your future, and you care about not getting pregnant, and you care about, like, practicing safe sex. So, if you want, I could prescribe you some Plan B. And I was like, I don't really think I need that because I'm not planning on having sex anytime soon. Blah, 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 blah. And my mom was like, and then the doctor was like, yeah, but you never know. Like, it could just happen sometime, blah, blah. And I was like, mm, I don't think so. And I was like, just take the fucking prescription. And I was like, okay. So I took it, and we went, and yo, I did not know Plan B was so expensive, y'all. 
like you don't need a prescription to get plant B. like you could buy it over the counter but what the prescription does is it makes it less expensive and she said because it's a pill they last for like a year pills generally last for a year she's like yes you just keep it for a year and if you haven't used it after the year just throw it out i was like okay whatever so now that i'm not on birth control and i'm not seeing anyone and i'm just i'm just living life but you know it's good to just have birth control just in case anything were to happen. Like, if, if I were to get raped, I'd want to have birth control. If I were to, like, find someone that I wanted to do whatever with, then I'd like to have birth control as a backup. So, now, I'm trying to decide what I want. Not getting the shots. Definitely not getting that gosh darn IUD, girl. Are you kidding me? No. Um, um, I was, I'm not getting the, the, I think it's called the insert. Which is a little match book, or match book, match, match size stick that goes in your arm. I'm not getting that because my, one of my managers at my previous job was telling me about it. And she, the same day I got my first IUD inserted, she got her, she got her little insert thingy reinserted. So she got it taken out and then a new one put back in. She said she threw up. It was painful. It was the worst thing ever. It bruised her arm. She said, after this one's up, she's not doing that again. And I was like why is this so hard why do girls have to experience the pain so then I was thinking again I was like okay so what are there there's shots there's the IUD there's the pill if worse comes to worse I'll just use dang pill because <sighs> but it's it's the second most effective birth control next to the condom so the condom is more effective than the freaking pill like what what anyway so there's the pill, there's the IUD, there's the shot, there's the insert. And then I was like, I feel like there's another one I'm missing. The NuvaRing. Now, the reason I am considering the NuvaRing is because, one, I could just shove it up in there and not have to worry about it for, I believe it's three months. Little more frequently than the five-year thing with the Mirena, but three months is good to not have to worry about anything. And... Also, I was thinking about the Marina because, not the Marina, I was thinking about the Nuva ring because I started using the Diva Cup. Now, this is going to be a whole other video, but my mom was like, I just got the Diva Cup. I was like, oh, mom, I could use the Nuva ring. Like, I looked it up. I looked up if it could be used with um, the Diva Cup. I looked up if it could be used, like, with tampons, with this, with that. And they're like, yeah, everything is fine. I mean, like, if the Nuva ring were to fall out while you were taking your cup out, you could just wash it off and shove it back in there. I was like, cool. So my mom was like, okay, well, first, let's ch see if you can do the Diva Cup because you're going to have to be shoving stuff up there and taking it out. Like, so we just, let's just see if you're comfortable with that, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, my experiences with the Diva Cup, I will tell you about in another video. But this was just my birth control experience, I guess, because I read that now... <clears throat> With everything that's happened politically, a lot of women want to get the IUD because they want, they're like, they're like I don't know how long I'm going to be in control of my reproductive rights, so I'm just going to get the IUD, so I won't have to worry about anything. And I was like, that's really smart. Here's my experience with the IUD. Everyone's is different. I knew someone else who had the Mirena, but she had two kids, so, like, it wasn't, like, she got it after having her second kid, so it's not like her cervix was like freaking like the size of a pinhole you know but still just to just to share that with you guys so sorry people who are squeamish and for some reason watch this entire video even though you read the title yeah links in the description of where you can find me comment on this video what you think about different kinds of birth controls um, subscribe, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, I don't care. It's Michaela signing off, what the heck was that? Bye guys.